Hi, this is Teresa Momber. Here's a look at the card I'll show you how to create in today's video. Start by preparing a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base, scoring at the center line, but not folding yet. And then stamp the Canada Goose image from the Wetlands stamp set from Gina K Designs using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Begin coloring the darkest areas of the Canada Goose using Copic Marker N7. Switch to Copic Marker N5 and fill in the rest of the dark areas in the neck, head, and beak. Switch to Copic Marker W1 to begin shading in some of the lighter areas on the goose. Switch to Copic Marker E31 to deepen the shading. Then use Copic Marker E33 to deepen the shading in the very darkest areas. Stamp the Canada Goose a second time onto a piece of scratch paper and then use scissors to cut out the stamped image. Adhere the cut out stamped image over your colored stamped image using repositionable tape to serve as a mask. Then use sticky notes to mask the sky where you'd like the horizon line. Sponge along the mask edge using Gina K Designs Powder Blue ink. Remove the skyline mask and then sponge a little more into the sky. Die cut a circle from another sticky note to mask for a sun.
Sponge into the open area of the circle using Gina K Sweet Corn Ink. Remove the mask and reposition over the bottom of the Canada Goose to mask for where we'll stamp the cattails. Stamp the cattails also from the Wetlands stamp set using black ink. As you can see, I didn't press hard enough when I stamped along the mask and I didn't get a great impression. So I'm using a marker to fill in those areas where it didn't stamp clearly. If I had applied a little extra pressure along that mask, it would have been just fine. So keep that in mind whenever you're stamping over a mask. Next, remove that mask and then stamp the sentiment on the bottom right hand corner. Fold and crease your card base and you have a great one layer card. And that completes today's video. Thanks for watching.